Hey guys, we're back. Uh, got a little uh, pink and yellow uh, peel head jig here. We're going to be tying up, but it's a 132nd ounce. So uh, let's go ahead and get us a little thread laid down. We're just going to go about uh, about two thirds of the way down to the hook tip, I guess. Cut that off. Guys, these are great little jig heads. That's, <clears throat> that's those bomb bite jig heads I was telling you about. They're uh, pretty nice. Uh, let's put a little Sally Hansen down on our thread. And I'm going to use a little bit more hack on this jig than I normally do. Just want a little bit fuller look to it. I've got some yellow hackle. Just hold it up there and measure it off. I like to let it hang over about the length of the hook. Now I'll just lay it all down. Lay all it down here beside of that. Make sure I get it all even. I'm going to cut six pieces. I'm going to cut three yellow and three pink. Uh, I had a viewer talking about uh, something different. Uh, uh, Tenkara flies. I think. I hope I'm saying that right. Guys, I have never done any fly fishing in my life. Uh, which actually I think with Tenkara you don't really, you don't even use a reel. You just, of course I guess you can use them for fly fishing too. But uh, I'm going to get me some hooks and I am going to give that a try just to see if I can, I can do it or not. So we're going to start off with a piece of this pink saddle hackle. Go ahead and tie it in. Now I've got a piece of yellow. Clean it off for a little bit. Now I'm just going to alternate the pink and the yellow. I'm just going to come right around the hook shank with that. Another pink one in here. And one more yellow and we will be done with that. far and uh, let's see I am going to use since that pink shows up just a little bit more than the yellow I'm going to get me some yellow crystal flash I'm just going to get two pieces of it Sometimes I use flash on these hackle jigs, sometimes I don't. But we will on this one. I'm just going to lay that right on top of the hook. Give us four or five wraps just to secure it in, and we'll pull this back. Crystal flash up. 
I like to cut it different lengths. Let me just turn it up like this, it'd be a lot easier. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to do, we're not going to use any chenille, we're just going to build this up. Slope it from the head back toward the back of the jig. That should be good. We will get our whip finish tool and go ahead and do our whip finish. Five turns as usual. Pull it tight and cut our thread. Now we will get our... Guys, you can use Sally Hansen on those threads. I just usually use this uh, UV resin. Either way, it's going to brighten that thread up a little bit, give it a little shine. I'm just going to go right over that jig head. Why not? Just give it give it a little extra protection as well. <clears throat> and we'll hit it with our UV light here for a minute. Just something to keep it from running. Let it cure out here shortly. Guys, that right there we go, a little pink and yellow. But uh, not too bad. Got some pink and yellow hackle and our yellow crystal flash. Not too bad. Guys, as always, uh, I do appreciate you watching these videos. Uh, thanks to all the new subscribers. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be trying try that Tenkara fly here. Hopefully I'll be out to get me some hooks maybe after a while. Uh, but uh, I will film the, film the first one I do. Uh, probably won't turn out that great but we're going to give it a shot i'm just going to use the materials i've got here i'm not going to buy any materials i will give me some hooks though but uh guys i appreciate you watching we'll catch you next time